So we're just showing up at one of my favorite jobs, one of my off-grid jobs. But man, he's got it looking pretty out here. And this is an off-grid project in an undisclosed location by a very industrious individual. He's been working with his pickaxe already this morning. We're going to be changing out the battery. There was a lead battery here for about eight years. We're going to go ahead and put in a lithium battery so I can't break that tree. We just unloaded a Fortress E Vault, close to 500 pounds. And we're going to see if we can get this lithium battery. This staircase with this Escalera motorized stair climber. So, might be a little dicey getting that, around that turn, but we'll see what we can do. We can just get her up. Here's how we. You can. Here, you can get it a little bit. It's, it's rolling. It's going. Look here. We'll wear it. That's, that's what climbs it. We're going to see if we can get her to get her to climb these stairs. Uh, you're going to have to help me. <laughs> so all these lead batteries that are destined for the scrapyard can only mean one thing, guys. Uh, the age of lithium is definitely upon us, at least for lithium ferrophosphate. Uh, there's a handful of brands that I will use that are all UL listed and, and, and safe to install from an installer standpoint. And uh, I'll be going over those in a different video, but in this video you're going to see me installing the Fortress Evol 18.5. Uh, this battery, we, we saw it at the trade shows and we haven't heard anything bad about it yet. If they're all relatively new, all the lithium battery manufacturers are, but this is a battery that uh, I'm not afraid to install and it's really working good for this customer so far. <laughs> so after a little bit of battle and realizing that the crate was not going to allow us to make that turn, we are at the other. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more stairs. <laughs> Woo, it's a little bit hot, a little bit hot. All right, guys, so let's talk a little bit about where this battery has lived. Um, probably not the best place to put a battery in Georgia in an attic kind of space, but that's where this guy designed his setup, and uh, I guess he just wasn't thinking about the weight of batteries when he designed everything. And, uh, in my opinion, it was a mistake. You can see where the conduits are in the right-hand down corner. That's where the battery lives. Uh, batteries are more like people. They like to be in comfortable temperatures. So just keep that in mind when you're designing your off-grid projects, guys. So step two of this epic change out epic. is going to be getting these batteries out. And they are pretty big. we got to get these big batteries out. So we're going to go downstairs, drink some water, load the trailer, unload the trailer, turn the trailer around. We're going to be trading out. 600 amp hour evolt about 15 usable kilowatt hours at 50 percent depth of discharge for an 18.6 fortress all right guys so i want to take you into the lithium evolt installation manual for just a second because i i know you came for the good looks but you stayed for the tech so first of all uh it's a great battery uh fat like the just the form factor of it and the size, the power class of this battery. I don't know if there is a higher power class lithium battery available right now. There's only a handful of lithium battery manufacturers that I will actually use that are UL listed. I'm looking for a UL listed battery. Um, these, these lithium batteries are just a lot more straightforward than lead batteries. So let's check out the technical specs real quick on this battery and you're going to start to see why we're using this battery right now. Um, first of all, it's a 18.5 kilowatt battery. That means it's got 360 amp hours multiplied by 51.2 volts. That's where they're getting the, the power of the battery. Um, it is 476 pounds and as you can see, it's about the size of a refrigerator in like a hotel or a college dorm room or something it's a little, little that's how I kind of describe it to people go back to the specs here but what I really like about this battery 
I like the efficiency of it. I like that it has a breaker on it. I like that it has uh, the ability to be stacked. And I also like that I don't have to parallel a bunch of batteries to get to 18 kW. This is around 20 kW, and this is a good bit of power for this off-grid customer. He's, he's doing great with this. And I also like the size of the BMS. Right here, it tells me the max discharge current, what the continuous discharge current is, but what the pulse current is. And this is what I'm looking for. 10 second pulse current. So 200 amps times 51.2 volts. Guys, that's over 10,000 watts. So that tells me right there that it's going to start those big loads that I need to be able to start. Uh, this is on a single magnum inverter, which can only surge about 8,800 watts. So the battery is the power that the battery can deliver is bigger than the inverter. So that's kind of why I'm installing this E-Vault. And I'm, of course, I'm also listening, looking for a UL listed battery, which this one is. And um, let's see if there's anything else I want to show you. Oh, that's, I didn't get a shot of the, uh, what the hood of the enclosure looks like when you pop the hood, but there's a circuit breaker and then there's the two battery terminals. There is uh, like an RS-485 and a CAN bus and they do not want you to reverse polarity this thing. So just wanted to take there, take you guys to the uh, tech specs real quick and show you these manuals are great. And that's what the screen looks like, which I'll show you later in the video. What you want to do when you're dismantling a battery is take something non-conductive. I've just got some conduit rope and just give her a pull. And she'll come right out. If she doesn't, you can pop the vent cap or leave any pressure. Do you hear how that sounds? Huh? There's more. So this back, this off-grid house is back up and running. Bridge is back up and running. Cooling again. Mini splits are working. I'll take you inside and show you the fortress. It's a beautiful concrete house. So there's the generator down there. There's the conduits going into the power room. Those two conduits going down in the ground are going to an outbuilding that is across the river. Can't really see it from here. You can kind of see a little bit of it. I can see that or not. There's one array. There's another array. We've got solar hot water, slate roof, standing seam, concrete house, Kohler generator, radiant floor heating system. This guy's got all the bells and all the whistles. This is an awesome off-grid secure location. Maybe going up for sale soon. He said if, uh, if Biden gets in, he's heading to Ireland, so this place may be for sale. Take you upstairs and show you this fortress. Take you up these stairs. This was a this little part right here proved to be difficult getting the fortress up there. So there it is, the fortress battery. She's taking on about 30 amps per charge controller. You can see exactly what it's doing, which is super cool. I think we fi finally arrived. I think we finally arrived at the time when you can be off grid and things can be pretty simple. You don't have to be a chemist. Pretty awesome though. So he's got a pretty good bit of load in his house right now. He's got an AC load. He's putting 36 amps into the battery. BMK thinks it's at 100%. It's not. And uh, we're trying to charge this sucker back up. So, take a little while. This is a 370 amp hour Fortress battery. So it gives 18.6 kW. We saw what we took out. So it was pretty awesome what we put in. This is a system I took over. There was some stuff on here that was already done. It was pretty bad, but I cleaned it up as best I could. I think it looks pretty good. Here's the specs on the E-Vault. That is the Fortress battery. These things are awesome. 360 amp hour, I'm sorry folks. So there it is. Welcome to the future, lithium. I made this little rose arbor. When I say I made it, I built this by myself with no help. Really? I, I, this I, coated, the, I coated these timbers all the way from the road.